I unboxed this product quite a while ago. This is the Adaptech uh, SSD Cache, so it's their Max IQ product. Basically, it goes with uh, any supported Adaptech RAID card. So in this case, I have a 5445 from Adaptech. How many times have I said Adaptech already in this video? I've set up the SSD as uh, one of the four drives that's connected to this controller. So you can see I've got three other drives. Those are all Hitachi 1 terabyte 7200 RPM drives. They are configured in RAID 5. And I just wanted to do a quick video showing how to set up the Max IQ cache once you've got it connected to the controller. So the first thing you might need to do is update the firmware on your card, which I did have to do. You installed the latest Adaptech Storage Manager software, and then all you have to do is go into Direct Attack Storage, KPC in this case, uh, Controller 1, and then you can see here that on Connector 0 we have an SSD and three SATA hard drives. So it already knows that there's an SSD connected. We have one logical device, so that is the uh, Hitachi RAID 5, you can tell from the little 5 indicated here, and you can see some more information about this here in this screen. So we've got status, power, segments, device, yeah, everything that we need to know. And then up here, this little button right here says cache, and it has a little picture of an SSD. So we click on that, it brings up a menu where all we have to do is go to device 0, click SSD, and then click apply. Oh, hold on, fetch rate. Well, we'll leave that at default for now. So we click apply, and now it has configured this 32 gig Adaptech SSD. In this case, it's an X25E from Intel as a cache for my RAID 5 configuration. Now, some Adaptech cards actually support using third party SSDs, uh, such as some of OCZ's enterprise level drives, uh, but this particular card only supports the Max IQ kit. So that was it. Now we're going to later on today, hopefully, maybe tomorrow, do some benchmarks comparing before and after adding an SSD cache. And don't forget to check out the video that I've done on the topic of using SSD caches because it's very, very interesting. I actually compared quite a few different solutions in the market, but this was not one of them, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the performance numbers that we can generate by adding, even if it's a, a small 32 gig cache, to this particular array.